Hey, this is Trish, and today's video, I promise, is going to be short because I'm still exhausted from yesterday. Yesterday was St. Patty's Day, and I did two full gigs, one in the afternoon and then one in the evening. So from 11 until uh, 10.30, 11, I was uh, in total Irish mode yesterday with just a break in between long enough to come home, uh, cook a little food and uh, all that jazz, and then get ready for the next gig. It was a wonderful experience. I got to meet a lot of new people, got to see a lot of old people, and it was so good to see friends and family who came to see the shows. Um, but one of the things that was really cool today, um, when I was out at dinner this evening with my daughter, and the purpose of today's video, is that I saw a friend of mine that I haven't seen in about three or four months, and he and I had been talking about me singing with his jazz band. He has five to six musicians that get together. And these are real. These are real jazz musicians. Some of them from New Orleans and, uh, and elsewhere. And from, I think one's from Memphis. So some really good, strong jazz people. And uh, we had talked about me singing with his band. And, you know, just life and things get in the way and you kind of lose touch for a few months. Well, anyway, so I saw him while we were out at dinner, um, I was actually <laughs> going to yet another local place and inquiring about singing at that place. And when I saw him, we were, we were about to leave, he came in and just started talking again, reconnecting. And it just struck me how it's always important to have your wits about you, about your career. Even when you're there in your personal life, on your personal time, you still have to have your wits about you. You have to know what your schedule is, know where you're performing, when you're performing, what you're performing, the people with whom you are performing, because I, I'm starting to get into a lot of different styles of music, and so it can be, it can be a little uh, difficult at times to keep it all straight about what I'm singing. Am I singing Broadway? Am I singing jazz? Am I singing Irish? And now you know, other opportunities, maybe even classic rock or 80s rock, you know, really strong women um, in the late 70s and in the into the 80s. So it was a um, good time for women singers back then, so I'm starting to get into some of that. Um, so I just have a lot to keep straight. And so being caught off guard like that, I'm sitting at dinner with my daughter, and I see my friend, and we just start talking, and I had to just you know, stay on a par with what I'm doing, when I'm doing, where I'm doing it, and just to, you know, and here is a new opportunity with him, just trying to keep it all straight. So just stay organized. If you're out there pounding the pavement trying to get gigs, stay organized. Make sure you have all of your marketing materials. Now, luckily, he and I know each other, and so I know how to get a hold of him and, you know, vice versa. But um, but you want to have all your marketing materials with you at all times. You want your business cards, your even your postcards. Keep your resume, your headshot, all of that stuff with you at all times, and uh, just stay aware. Your career. I mean, you want a career, right? I mean, that's why you're doing this, right? You don't want. You, you get a job here, get a job get that. That's not a career. A career is steady, steady work toward doing this for the long term and so tonight was just a great reminder you need to keep your wits about you you need to be really organized so that you can not only have this stuff but but you can talk about it you can talk about the styles of music that you do or the styles of play or whatever you know whatever it is that you do the styles of dance you know you have to be able to not just do it you have to be able to talk about it and articulate it as well as then have a business sense of uh, what you're doing, when you're doing, where you're doing it, and with whom you're doing it. So it's, um, and after a day like yesterday, my brain's really tired. And um, so, yeah, so it's just, it's just interesting how when you do this kind of thing, as somebody who's self-employed, you really never stop working. You're really, you are always working because this was one of those random opportunities to, uh, reconnect with somebody on a friend level and then reconnect with them as well on a business level and an opportunity level so yeah it's um it can be a lot and it's just overwhelming my daughter can tell you she'll tell you she'll either tell you that I never work or that I'm always working <laughs> one or the other because to her what I do doesn't look like work and um 
and yet I'm always doing it. So I'm either never working or always working. But I'm, you know, I'm, that's what it takes to build a career is just keep going, keep your wits about you, stay organized, and just, you know, do your best, you, do the best you can every single day, and get rest. God, I'm exhausted, but that's okay. I'll be okay. But uh, but no, it was just an interesting experience, and I just wanted to share my thoughts about that because when you go out, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who you're going to run into. You never know who's going to be there, who's going to see you. It, you could do a gig and then somebody tell you a month later they run into you. Oh, aren't you that person I saw at such and such a place? And you're like, uh, yeah. You know, why did, did was I was I mean? Was I mad? Was I, <laughs> was I rude? You know, you just you have to keep your wits about you when you're pursuing a career like this. You become a public person, and um, people will come up to you and remind you that they saw you. So, um, yeah, just I don't know, just a lot of different thoughts today. Um, just keep your wits about you, stay organized, and just really, really, really know your craft. And I know those are a lot of different things, but they're all important. So, all right, I sign. I am signing off. Yes, I'm exhausted. All right, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.